What's up guys, this is Alex, and I, it's probably going to be one of my last videos about the Matrix demo, but the goal here was to, can we push it to more than 100 FPS? And yeah, the goal is pretty easy, you just have to remove everything. And you can see the, all the anti-aliasing going nubs on that building over here, or on that fence right there, which is crazy, so there's almost no pulse processing, textures are low quality, uh, global elimination actually is off. But if I go into the menu, I'm just going to show you here. I'm going to put the night mode on. And we can't see a thing. <laughs> the reflection of light is just not there. And of course, as soon as I go away from something that a scene that doesn't really move, if I turn around, boom! I just look. 20 fps just like that just by turning and showing the cars and if i go back to a more static scene i can move around but as long as i don't show the cars that are moving all around the place and there's another way to have 100 fps and more let me show you that and i'm going to show you first the configuration for this scene here if you want to try it out yourself but let's check out another way to have more than 100 fps so now i'm going to remove the foliage quality i'm going to put it to zero and you're going to see that that changed a lot of things so let's start the game and there we go 120 fps uh we can see some people a little bit and then can move around and it's pretty much staying at 100 and more but the thing is there's almost no cars i think there's one there coming <laughs> let's join the car to see if we're still going to be more than 100 fps oh there's a truck there part didn't saw that coming and i'm moving around no problem there's a little bit of people right uh there's a car park over there car coming oh did you saw that as soon as i'm showing a car moving yeah it's going down a little bit so let's let's try can, can i get into that I never tried a truck before. No, we cannot. We can only go into cars, I believe. So we're going to fly to that car over there very quickly. And the goal is to go faster if we can. That's a single car parked in this city. <laughs> so yeah, the cars are actually foliage or considered to be foliage or something like that. So I'm not sure why, but let's go fast. Let's turn around. Oh, there's plenty of car there. Not sure why. Let's take a faster car because this one is not that close. Not that fast, I mean. I do not know. Usually this is full of cars. Those two parkings. Uh, let's choose a car that actually can go fast. And I'm gonna take the fast way to get there oh no fast car there how about here do we have any fast car i think they all oh this one is fast yeah they have uh, hidden all the fast cars oh we can't drive them but these are actually not objects that we can drive they're all well they're all statics so what we're we gonna do we're gonna ditch our character I'm gonna go into a debug mode and I'm gonna see how fast we can go. And I'll put a link if you want to try that yourself with this mode. As you see, the FPS is dimping. We're already at 60 just by going slightly faster than what the demo is supposed to go fast. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go faster, but obviously. You see the FPS that is going down 30. <laughs> so, yeah, there is actually a lot of things going on here. Obviously, when you are playing the real thing with how it's supposed to be actually uh, displayed, you still you get about 30 FPS, but it's way more impressive. I mean, come on. I mean, it's photorealism, and that's the goal of the demo instead of of course going for 
FPS or anything like that. See, the night is working now. Let's send the sun a little bit more into our face. And yeah, that's way more impressive with all the reflections and the cars. So, all right, guys, take care and see you in the next video. Subscribe, it's free, right?